Hi guys, this is IGCSC O level chemistry paper 22, March 2020, question 21. Salt S is dissolved in water and three tests are carried out on the solution. Test one, aqueous sodium hydroxide is added. Result, green precipitate formed, insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide. So this shows that our solution contains Fe, two positive ions because the result is that of Fe2 positive ions. So this confirms the presence of Fe2 positive ions. Next, dilute nitric acid is added. So addition of dilute nitric acid does not give any reaction in the result column. So this shows that we have absence of carbonate ions because had carbonate been present, we would have had the result as effervescence and a colorless gas evolves, which turns lime water milky. And the third test is aqueous barium nitrate is added to the acidified solution from two, and we get a white precipitate formed. So this is a confirmatory test for the presence of sulfate ions because the white precipitate formed is that of barium sulfate. So our salt S consists of Fe2 positive ion and SO4 2 negative ion, which makes it iron 2 sulfate. So, what is the identity of S? Copper 2 chloride? No. Copper 2 sulfate? No. Iron 2 chloride? No. Iron 2 sulfate? Yes. So, this makes option D the correct option for this question. Question 22 Which statement about the periodic table is correct? Most metallic elements are on the left. Yes, the left side of the periodic table contains all metals in groups one, group two, and the D block, which contains all the transition elements. So this statement is correct. Next, elements in the same period have the same number of outer electrons. No, they have the same number of shells, but every element would have a different number of outer electron based on which group it is present. So if it is an element in group one, there would be one outer electron. Group 2 element would have two outer electrons, so on and so forth. So this statement is incorrect. Next, elements on the left are usually gases. We have already concluded they are metals, not gases. Elements on the right are usually gases. So this statement is incorrect as well. And the last one, the relative atomic mass of the element increases from left to right. The relative atomic mass. The relative atomic mass increases from left to right and from top to bottom in all cases because no two elements have the same relative atomic mass. So comparison of relative atomic mass is not a property of the periodic table because each element has its own unique relative atomic mass. So this statement is incorrect as well. So this makes option A the correct option for this question. Question 23. The diagram shows elements W, X, Y, and Z in a section of the periodic table. Which statement about the reactivity of elements is correct? X is more reactive than Y and W is more reactive than Z. Okay, so X and Y belong to group 1 and W and Z belong to group 7. So for group 1, the reactivity increases down the group. So Y should be more reactive than X. And for the halogens, which is group 7, the reactivity decreases down the group, which means W should be more reactive than Z. So the statement says X is more reactive than Y. This statement is incorrect. And W is more reactive than Z. This statement is correct. So half of this answer is correct. Next, X is more reactive than Y. No. Z is more reactive than W. No. Next, Y is more reactive than X. Yes. And W is more reactive than Z. Yes. So this option is correct and the last one y is more reactive than x yes z is more reactive than w no so since both the reactivities given in option c are correct option c is the correct option for this question question 24 some properties of substances are listed they conduct electricity, so they should be metals. They have low densities. Okay, metals have high densities. They have high melting points. This is true for metals. And they are malleable. This is also true for metals. Okay, 
which property are shown by transition metals. Okay, so transition metals conduct electricity, yes. They have high density, so this is incorrect. They have high melting points, so this is correct. And they are malleable, so this is correct. Since properties 1, 3, and 4 are correct, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 25. Sodium is a group 1 metal. Which property that is typical of most metals is not shown by sodium? Conductor of heat? Yes, sodium conducts heat. High melting point. Okay, sodium belongs to group 1. Group 1 metals have a low melting point that is atypical for metals because metals usually have high melting points. So, this is a property not shown by sodium. Malleable, all metals are malleable. And shiny, all metals are shiny. Since high melting point is the only property not shown by sodium, option B is the correct option for this question. Question 26, four metals, iron, copper, magnesium, and Y are heated separately with their oxides. The results are shown. Metal Y reacts and no reaction. So Y does not react with magnesium oxide. Y does not react with its own oxide. Y reacts with copper oxide. And Y reacts with iron oxide. So this shows that Y is more reactive than copper and iron and it is less reactive than magnesium. So magnesium is more reactive than Y and Y is more reactive than copper and Y is more reactive than iron. So this is represented by the first row. Next, magnesium will not react with its own oxide. Magnesium will react with oxide why it will react with copper oxide and it will react with iron oxide so magnesium is the most reactive metal and since y is more reactive than copper and iron so the next one would be y now copper does not react with magnesium oxide copper does not react with y oxide it does not react with its own oxide and it does not react with iron oxide since it does not react with oxides of any metal Copper is the least reactive of the four metals, which leaves iron to fill the third position. And the reactions show this. How? It does not react with magnesium oxide or the oxide of I. Iron is not reacting with copper oxide and it is not reacting with its own oxide. So this is giving a similar reaction to copper. Okay, what is the order of reactivity of metals least reactive first? So the least reactive metal is copper. So this eliminates options C and D. The next least reactive metal is iron, not Y, eliminating option B. The third most, uh, the second most reactive metal is Y. And the most reactive metal is magnesium. Since the correct order is given in Row A, option A becomes the correct option for this question. Question 27. Aluminum is extracted from bauxite by electrolysis. Which statement is correct? Aluminum ions are oxidized to form aluminum. No, they are reduced to form aluminum, not oxidized. The cathode has to be replaced regularly because it reacts with oxygen which is formed it is not the cathode it is the anode because anode is where oxygen is produced and at the high temperature used the carbon anodes burn away as carbon dioxide in the oxygen that has been produced so it's not the cathode it's the anode next cryolite is added to remove impurities no cryolite is added to dissolve bauxite in order to lower its melting point so this is incorrect as well. And the last one, carbon dioxide is produced at the anode. Yes, the oxygen gas at the anode reacts with carbon anodes and this produces carbon dioxide. Therefore, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 28. 
some properties of aluminum are listed it conducts heat it has a low density it is strong it is resistant to corrosion yes which of these properties makes aluminum suitable for making food containers for chilled food products so it's not that it conducts heat that is not the property it has a low density has nothing to do with making its use as food containers it is strong that is not a requirement it is resistant to corrosion yes because foods are acidic or alkaline so it needs to be resistant to corrosion or reacting with the acid or bases in the food so that the food does not get spoiled by unwanted reactions with the container so fourth property is the only property that makes aluminum suitable for making food containers for chilled food products therefore option d is the correct option for this question question 29 water is treated at a water works to make it fit to drink what is present in the water when it leaves the water works bacteria only no bacteria is not present bacteria and insoluble substances no neither bacteria nor insoluble substances are present chlorine compounds only chlorine compounds do not make it fit to drink so they are not present and chlorine compounds and soluble substances so it says chlorine compounds and soluble substances so soluble substances are definitely there which are known as minerals and chlorine compounds are there because it, they were added to kill the bacteria so bacteria is not there but the substance used to kill bacteria is there so option c contains chlorine compounds only and option d contains chlorine compound and soluble substances so since both of them contain chlorine compound it means chlorine compounds are present but that does not make water fit to drink we need to remove the chlorine present in water in order to make it suitable for drinking so i disagree with the presence of chlorine compound in water for making it fit to drink but since it says water is treated at water works to make it fit to drink it means it is a water that is processed at the plant so that water would contain chlorine compounds and obviously it would also contain the minerals so option d is correct here therefore d is the correct option for this question question 30 sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide and oxides of nitrogen are common gaseous pollutants found in the air which pollutants contribute to acid rain so acid rain is rain water containing sulfuric acid which would require dissolving of so3 which is oxidized from so2 which is oxidized in the presence of no2 so we should have oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur present so let's look at the options carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide so carbon monoxide is not required sulfur dioxide is required oxides of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide yes both are correct oxides of nitrogen only no we have sulfur dioxide missing and sulfur dioxide only here we have oxides of nitrogen missing so the only option with all the correct gases is option b therefore b is the correct option for this question